There's a new team in town working to level the playing field on healthcare equity. It starts here at Henry Ford's campus. They're expanding its services across West Grand Boulevard, and they're joining Michigan State University and the Detroit Pistons to create a mixed use community with affordable housing. I have been with Henry Ford for over four decades, and I have attended some amazing groundbreakings and ribbon cuttings. Nothing comes close to this. These images reveal the future of healthcare at Henry Ford Health. A multi-billion, yes, billion with a B, dollar expansion to Henry Ford Hospital along with living and shopping areas. While the prospect of new development grabs your attention, the goal is to improve health services in Detroit. So we have it in us to reverse that, that, that horrible thing where your zip code determines your outcome. We are building this hospital for the ability to enhance health care for all. Henry Ford doctor Stephen Kalkanis says the issue of health equity has been top of mind since the pandemic exposed flaws in how we care for the most vulnerable. The health system will team up with the Detroit Pistons and Michigan State on this project, which will occupy space south of West Grand Boulevard. A combination of Henry Ford's earnings, grants, and private donations will fund it. And the research itself is going to be designed around unlocking the health code. Why does one gender have a certain affiliation more than another? Why does one ethnic group? Mixed use developments have become a trend in cities and suburbs nationally. They're described as properties where people live, work and shop in a walkable area. In Detroit, it's a blueprint for creating more accessibility for hospital staff. You're going to need people uh, to work the cafeteria. You're going to need people to push the wheelchairs in the hallway. You're going to need nurses and, and radiologists, and you need them all in the same neighborhood. Details on a completion haven't been finalized, but Henry Ford will break ground in 2024.